So in this type of positions, you just got to go and take the pawn in b5. Um, well, obviously, but how do you do this? Of course, the black king will want to hang around these squares and you're not going to be able to do it. So the key move now is king to f6. And now, of course, the king going up will allow the white king to go down diagonally, cutting off the important d6 square. And when the king goes to c6, then you, you keep doing the opposition and you're going to be able to win the pawn. So if... After king f6, the black king instead goes to d5. It looks like we're actually allowing black to approach our pawns, but in reality, king e7, and now king c4 doesn't work because of king c6. When the king takes the pawn in c3, the white player will go to c5 with the king and will take the pawn in b5 whilst protecting the one in b4. So the black king might try to go to c6, and it looks like he's cutting off our access towards the pawns. White now continues by giving the opposition, king to e6, and after king to c7, king to d5, and after king to b6, simple opposition, king d6, and now we keep just going like this, uh, king to c5, attacking the pawn, king a6, protecting the pawn, and then king c6 wins the pawn. In this position, the black knight just gave a check to the king. We want to promote our pawn, but now every move fails except one. The only move for white is king to h2. You have to put the king in a different color square as the knight and prevent him from being able to check you. And also keep it away from potential forks with this pawn. Let's make examples. King h4, for example, will be met by knight to f4 attacking the pawn. And when the pawn goes up, knight g6 will win the pawn for black. King f2 here will be met by knight c3. And the black knight is going to go to d5 and then he will control the square e7 forever. And if we do nothing, I mean, if we push the pawn, the knight check, then the knight will be able to go to d6 and control the promotion square. King g4 doesn't make any difference because of knight c3. Yes, we, the knight cannot check us, but when we push the pawn, the black can go knight to d5, and after the promotion, knight f6 will take the queen. King g2 obviously cannot be played because knight f4 is a fork. Neither can black, uh, white go f3 because of knight d4. And neither king h3 for knight f4. So king h2 is the only move. This position with the knight and the king being separated by two uh, horizontal squares is often the killing move against the knight. In this example, the black player has to keep an eye on the square a8, otherwise white will promote. But black is also two steps away from promotion. So it looks like the game is dead for white. But one key move wins for the white player, which is king to d6. Again, the black player cannot just go and take the pawn in b6 because of the promotion. And he can't really move the king anywhere that makes sense. Well, king back to a8, then that's white plays king c7. And this is a zugzwang. Black will have to push the, the pawn. And then there was gonna be there's gonna be b7 check and then promotion and checkmate to follow very soon. So at this point, after king d6, black pushes the pawn, and now there's an important sacrifice which comes with a promotion. King takes, and now the key move, king f2, checkmate to follow. If black promotes, doesn't make any difference because check, king moves, and then check, king moves again, and then queen b6.